Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and review of the Mio MyView 658 Wi-Fi. This is a dash camera that's got some really nice features in it. I'm gonna also be showing you a little bit later on uh, some of the footage that's been captured with this little dash cam as well. So anyway, let's take this out of the box, and as I unbox it, I'll tell you about some of the features and specifications. So we're gonna slip out all of the bits and pieces and all of the accessories for you to have a look at. This is just about the warranty on the device. We also get a quick start guide, and this is gonna guide us through how to mount the system in our car and how to get things up and running. Then we get this, which is an integral part of the system. Now, depending upon your vehicle, it will depend upon whether you use this or whether you indeed decide to hardwire it into your car, but for ease, they include this, which is a 12 volt vehicle accessory uh, power adapter. This goes into your accessory socket, and then this end, which is a mini USB, goes into the dash cam itself. We also get a little mount. This is what the mount looks like. It's just a very simple suction mount. So this end here actually clamps onto the back of the dash cam, and then this end here is like a suction type mount which you clip into place onto your windscreen. And then the actual video is recorded through the windscreen. So you don't mount this externally, it goes internally in the car. Now, I've covered these on the channel before, but for those of you who aren't familiar with what a dash cam is, if you think of it like a action camera, but it continually records. So whereas an action camera will record and then you stop the recording manually, this one will do like a loop recording and then when it fills up the memory card, it will start recording again at the beginning. And then if something happens, like you've uh, been involved in an accident, uh, then it will protect that file. It will uh, register that you've actually, um, or the car's actually sort of hit something uh, and then it will protect that particular file. So this is what the Mio 658 Wi-Fi looks like. Very, very nice little unit. This has got some really nice features. We've got a 2.7 inch touchscreen, which I'll show you up and running in a short while. This records a little bit higher than HD. So instead of 1920 by 1080, which is HD resolution, this records at 2304 by 1296, 30 frames per second. It's also got Wi-Fi on it, so you can connect this to your smartphone to easily back up uh, and share the videos that are captured. It's also got safety camera warnings, GPS tracking, a really wide viewing angle on this lens. It's got 150 degree viewing angle, and it's f1.8. Uh, a three axis G sensor as well, so it includes uh, uh, the direction and force, including impact, turns, and acceleration, so it records all of that. And it's also got a ro rotating design, so you can mount it in any orientation. So let's have a look at this device in a bit more detail. So we'll peel this off the back. And this is obviously the screen. We've got a little action button here. On the side here, we've got a power on off button. And then on the base of the unit, we've got the serial number just underneath here. We've also got the micro SD card socket. So this records onto micro SD. Now there isn't one included in the packaging, uh, but I was very kindly sent this one for review purposes. So any sort of standard, uh, good quality, micro SD card is recommended. Eight gigabytes, 16 gigabytes is what I'd probably go for, but eight gigabytes is fine because as I say, it does loop recording. So when it gets to the full capacity of the uh, memory card, it will start recording at the uh, beginning of the memory card again. Little microphone on here as well. And then we've got the lens on the front, obviously. This looks like some speakers. And we've also got the little charging socket in here or the power socket. And this is also where that suction mount goes. So let's get this powered up and we'll take a closer look. Okay, I've run some power to the camera via the front USB socket. I'm not really happy actually with this uh, front connection. It would have been so much better if they put the USB socket on the side or the back. But alas, it's just above the lens. I can tell you that the cable, if you carefully route it, it doesn't encroach on the video that you're actually capturing. But I would have positioned this somewhere else. Anyway, you can see on the back here, as soon as you add power to the device, it does actually start recording. You've got the little record symbol there. And if I was driving, it would show my speed as well. 
we turn the actual display on, you can see little Pikachu just underneath here, just to give you an idea of the quality of the display. It does have a timeout, so it will turn the screen off if you don't interact with it after a certain amount of time. Uh, but you can turn the screen back on just by tapping the side button. We've got some uh, safety or speed camera information, take a photo, and then the main menu system. And this is all touch sensitive. So here we can go into file playback camera, sound recording, Wi-Fi, and settings. Here we've got safety cam settings, parking mode, and video recording settings. I'll show you these briefly. So we've got video clip length. So at the moment it's gonna record three minute segments. And then after that three minute segment, it's gonna start a new one. Then we've got video resolution for this test. And in fact, the uh, video capture you're gonna see on your screen very shortly is gonna be in 1080p, 30 frames per second. We've got exposure compensation. I've left that to zero for my tests as well. G sensor sensitivity. So if you live in an area which has got really bad roads, plenty of potholes like where I live, set this to a low to medium setting. Then we've got stamps, so you can have coordinates and G-sensor activity overlaid on the video that's being captured. And then we've got a text stamp as well, so you could add perhaps your registration number to be overlaid onto the video recording again. And then we've got format and system settings. And inside system settings, we've got things for GPS status, date and time, beep alert, volume, standby. And then we've also got language, distant unit, and also storage allocation. This shows you how this storage on this eight gigabyte card is gonna be used. And then we've got restore to defaults, version number, and the previous menu. And then to go back, we just tap the back button, or we can go direct to the video camera by tapping that video button. So now I'm gonna show you how this actually performs whilst I'm driving. And I've tested lots of dash cams uh, and plenty of uh, action cameras as well. And normally a dash camera captures video far lower quality than uh, an action camera. So I was pleasantly surprised by the Mio MyView 658 Wi-Fi. It captures really nice quality video. And don't forget the whole purpose of a dash camera is that if you are witness to or involved in a road traffic accident, you've got some evidence that can be used and it gives you peace of mind that if you weren't at fault, then the camera is gonna capture the necessary video for you to prove your innocence. Also, it does have an added benefit that if you install one of these in your vehicle, as I've detailed in my previous dash cam videos, you do get a discount on your car insurance with some insurers, not all of them, but with some car insurers, you get up to a 25% discount I've seen with some insurers. Uh, most of them are about 10%, and I think that's well worth investigating and maybe even switching insurers if they don't recognize that you're taking things seriously and you've actually installed a dash camera in your vehicle. So anyway, back to the camera itself. I really do like it. I think it captures really nice quality video. Uh, with the little suction mount actually installed, I'll just show you this quickly. You can still obviously plug in the power. There's no battery inside, so it needs to be connected to your 12 volt vehicle accessory socket or hardwired into your car all the time. And then when you turn on that ignition, the camera springs into action and automatically starts recording. I really do like the fact it's got the Wi-Fi feature so I can get the footage off very, very easily. I love the video quality from this one. It really is good. This is the Mio MyView 658 Wi-Fi. If you're in the market for a dash cam, this one is one of the best I've tested to date. Thanks very much for watching. Please do hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in another video very soon.